Hello there. Let's talk about the Arborea node. If you want to simulate trees, shrubs, grass, basically any vegetation, then the Arboreal node will make it really easy for you. So after your shape is created, you'll put in a Arboreal node. I recommend working a 2K for Arboreal node and 1K for rest of the stuff. So right now we are simulating conifers. We also have two more types, broadleaf and shrubs. Now these are based on what type of vegetation you want to simulate. And with the arboreal node, we get two extra outputs. The first one is the trees. This is the tree mask that we want for our game engine or a 3D software. This is basically all the pixels where those trees are present. And another one is the color guide. Now this is the same one, just expanded a little bit for coloring. And we'll use this as a mask when we are coloring the trees. Now with the arboreal node. So first, let's talk about conifer or any large scale vegetation that doesn't grow as dense as shrubs or say grass. So trees are more like dots on our landscape and shrubs are a little bit denser. Now other than the type and style, all the settings are same for all type of vegetations. So from here we can see whether we want the vegetation to avoid the water or seek the water. In case of seek, all the vegetation will be grown in the flow structures. Now the next three decides how much we want to control the vegetation inside those flows. So let's take the first slider for example. So if it is set to seek and we are increasing the flows, then there will be more vegetation. Just like this. And if we are avoiding the flows, then increasing the flows means there will be less vegetation. So if we increase the flows, then there will be less vegetation. And we can also change our growth to wild. So if it is avoiding the flows, then some of the vegetation will start growing in the flows and vice versa. Next, we can control our vegetation within a certain altitude. We can either type a percentage here or we can type a number like 250 meter. So there will be no vegetation after 250 meters. So let's say 1200 meter. Now there is no vegetation after an altitude of 1200 meter. And we can control the follow from right here. And the same goes with the slope. We can control in which slope range we want our vegetation and there is also a follow for this. Next are how many patches we want and how much chaos we want to add and how much we want to smooth it. Let's come up a bit. With the height we can control how tall we want our trees to be. Now these two, the health and reduce density, these two work together. So if you have a forest like this, and now you want to reduce the density, then reduce density is what you want. So reduce density starts to pick trees out from the denser areas. And the health is the overall health of the trees. Basically like how much water the trees are getting. So the lower the health, the trees will be getting less water and less water means less trees will survive. Now let's quickly see how we can simulate different type of vegetations. So we just talk about the trees. Next let's talk about shrubs. So shrubs are more like trees but they tend to grow in larger groups. Let's talk about the style. So there are mainly two styles, the small or large. There is also large plus fuzzy. So small means smaller groups and large means larger groups. So small is for things like shrubs and large is for something like flowers. And there is also large plus fuzzy. It basically just raises the whole thing but essentially it's the same. And we can also use this for say things like grass. And if you say you want different species of shrubs or trees or just about any vegetations and say you like these settings but you like to have a different set of species within the same area. So in that case you'll just duplicate it and change the seed. That way there will be a different variation with the same settings. And with Arboreal we get an additional input which is the inhibition mask. 
this is where you don't want your trees to be so this is for the dead zone dead zone is usually things like snow or water or things like that so all of those masks you combine it with the multi combine and use that mask right here so right now we are using this multi combine which has the snow and the water so that way there will be no tree in these places and additionally if you want the opposite like you want trees only to be in these areas so let's say you want some trees in the snow so this is the mask right here in that case you will invert it so this time the inhibition mask will be everywhere but snow so in that case there will be trees only in snow so by using different arboreal node you can simulate different vegetation and now to combine all of these in a single height map we'll use a multi combine with max mode so the maximum of all that is the vegetation will be combined from all of the arboreal nodes and now for the color we'll make portal for all the color guides so let's say this is our albedo map and now if you want to combine our vegetation so we'll start from small to large so smaller vegetation first and the larger vegetation at the last so our smallest vegetation is the shrub so we'll press G so that it is our underlay and we'll use a multifractal and in a multifractal we decrease the size so there are more patches to give us a color variation if we press T and view it as a mask these are the different patches and if you apply a set map then the color will be distributed based on those patches and then simply just a combine with the mask and the mask is our third output from arboreal node now the same process will be repeated for all the other vegetation so finally when viewing everything we'll pin our multi combine so this is all the vegetation and we'll duplicate the same multi fractal change the shade a bit and have different color for different type of vegetations now this one doesn't look as good at 1k so i recommend using the arboreal node at 2k viewport there is also a bit of difference in simulation at 1k versus 2k so as the resolution goes higher there will be more details and the simulation might vary just a little bit so that's about it for arboreal node the project file of this landscape along with all the other project files are available on patreon i'd like to thank our adventurer and paladins and i'm not going to butcher their names thank you for your support I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy what you're doing.